Uh, the Beer Board Councilman Coleman has suggested uh, an increase in office personnel for 50, about $51,000 for the building board. Councilman Shulman with Human Relations, a program specialist, $63,000. Uh, I have uh, making a request for additional funds for audit for to purchase several more audits for the next fiscal year, something on the order of $100,000 beyond that. Wanted to raise these. Um, I think it's important as you hear them to add your voices to the ones that you want to support, come up with other suggestions. This process is going to be an ongoing process, but I value every suggestion. I think all of us value every suggestion going forward. Um, this is a collective process, and, um, and again, we'll, particularly starting the 24th when these are over, we'll have work sessions together to go over the extended and full list, but as the administrative part of the city's budget ends in those hearings, I think it's useful to go ahead and collect our suggestions on the administrative part. Now, this doesn't include suggestions from today's hearings, obviously, and each day we'll start this and roll this out forward. So with that, uh, I welcome discussion and comments uh, on this process. Again, it's our budget. I think uh, collectively, <coughs> if you hear one of these suggestions and you support it, endorse it, let me know because it's going to be the will of this council that ends up being suggested to the mayor. Thank you. Council Lady Gilmore. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I appreciate your leadership. I just wanted to know who is making note of this. Are you making note of these suggestions? I, you'll turn them over? I am, but I depend greatly on Ms. Rosie and Danielle and Mr. Curl also. Okay, so they're taking but notes Rosie now. Rosie is keeping, okay. keeping particular track. Great. Thank you. Councilman Glover. Thank you, Chair. Well, I think this is a good idea. I, you know, I think um, what's kind of important, we, 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 we've heard some things tonight that contradicted some things we heard last night. Um, last night, I, I think that I am leaning towards, and I didn't hear you mention on the codes, the $828,000 right. there. Uh, I'm certainly in that arena. Um, and, and I, so the, I don't want to assume, but I'm going to go ahead and assume the way this is going to work. If we in fact suggest that, and I'll just, use, I'll use the $828,000 as an example. Uh, for the codes department, then are you going to ask us to bring back where we would recommend taking the money from uh, in the budget? Or are you going to do that? H how do you want to see that process move forward? I am interested in suggestions about where it should come from. I don't think it should be an absolute dollar for dollar match. I think we need the best suggestions for spending and the best suggestions for cutting. Um, and, and, and so because some of the in the end, everybody's spending suggestions comes from the same cut. So um, you, you, need, you need to balance those, in my opinion. And, uh, and it'll be difficult, and we'll have to work together to know how to cut and what to balance. But for the moment, uh, all good spending suggestions let's make, all good cutting suggestions let's make. Okay, but at the end of the day, the 2.2 .2 is what we're dealing with, and I'm, I'm rounding yes. there. 2.2 .2 is what yes. we're dealing. So somewhere, Absolutely. if if we say we want to add positions or we would we'd like to enhance this department, it's going to have to come from somewhere. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And I really think, uh, and Councilman Schulman, I'm going to ask you to kind of echo because you were looking in some stuff uh, with regards to the um, the YWCA specifically about the nonprofits. You know, I really think in order for us to move forward and to effectively work this budget and to to give meaning to any suggestions that we we may come back with and say, we I think we also need to understand what unintended consequences may occur. Point in case, I thought tonight the 200000 was new money, which in reality it may not be. Uh, and so I, I just think I want to understand that completely as we continue climbing through uh, the, the, the budget. As we climb through together on the yep. budget. And there will be a parallel cut list that's going to need everybody's collective wisdom behind that as well, too. So I, I realize next week is, uh, oh, oh, I hate to say an off week, but it's an off week for, for the, this part of the, the yeah. process. You know, obviously, we're going to be here. Would it be possible for you to have uh, kind of a running total of where we think we are in the money that, uh, that various members here feel like that we need to add into, yes. not necessarily add into, but we need to 
Well, we'll try to shift. We'll try to true that up, if possible, before we get to the capital budget week. Okay. Based on the administrative week that we're having this week. Um, I just think that if if you're able to give us that, let's say Monday at our normal budget and finance committee meeting, and we just see the dollars and we see the departments, that doesn't mean you are necessarily endorsing, nor is anyone endorsing any of these particular moves. It does allow us to go ahead and begin looking line item by line item to determine what can we possibly move in order to fund those, because yes. that will that part will be painful. There's no doubt in my mind. And to do it collectively. Yep, yep. To do it, yes, thank you. Okay, thank you, Chair. Thank you, Councilman, and Councilman Shulman. Thank you. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman, just real quick. A, a lot of the questions that I've been asking, particularly like on the vacancies, every department. So um, if the, the faster we can get those from everybody, the better, so that we can, uh, so that I don't have to, I don't really want to keep asking everybody. I just know that I'd, I'd like to know at some point when it comes soon. Um, and I know that Rosie's working on it. And the other thing I would recommend, or at least, um, and it kind of fits in with something that, that Councilman Glover said, and that is uh, not everybody can attend all the budget hearings, right? Um, wish list items. Um, and the questions that are coming up, um, I think once we get the answers to it, you know, sending out something to all the, all the council members so that they know what to look for. The questions are there, the answers are there. Um, and then maybe even get them out before you have your big session so people can go, well, I don't understand this. So I know like on the police stuff today, um, trying to add those two numbers together and then trying to figure out eight months. And then is that, because that is a commitment. Once we get that, there's gonna be money involved for it for next year, but I think it's probably gonna need an increase because that's only, I think it was only for eight months. So trying to make sure we understand all that stuff, I think would be really, really helpful. So that's what I would recommend is just at some point when we get those information, those questions in, we may have done this in the past, but just something like this is what was asked and here's the information. Well, and we'll do with Rosie's help the best job of organizing the information and getting it out uh, as we're kind of creating this new um, budget process. Uh, thank you, Councilman. And back to Councilman Glover. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask uh, the finance department. When I was over on the school board, uh, we were we kind of kept a running total, and we knew at the end of the year what money had been allocated for positions that were that ended up not being filled, and what that made up of the budget. And we kind of kept a running track to where I would know, or the the board would know. Let me rephrase it: the board would know kind of what that percentage looked like. And it was always, I want to say around a half a point to a point, somewhere in that range. Is there any way that you can provide to this council while we're going through this budget hearing to give us what percentage of the budget goes unspent because of unfilled in all the departments across the board? Councilman, um, that, that is readily available. It would, that would, I'm assuming that what you're asking for is just a budget versus actual report for salary line items. Yeah, I think, that, yeah, personnel, and yeah, if we, if we, if we could yeah. see that, I think that would Mr. be helpful. Yeah, Mr. Curl even has open access to that. That is a report that's readily available. Okay. okay. Well, I mean, it, I while it may be readily available. if you it, want that to come through finance or through. Yeah. It does, it, it can come through, Mr. Curl. It doesn't make any difference to me. I just think that that's something we need to look at too, Chairman. Uh, I think it will give it, and Mr. Curl, since we're going to go down that path, can, we, can you give us some historicals for the last four years? Uh, that way we can kind of see what that percentage number looks like uh, over the, the, the four-year period. I, I think that will be helpful for us as well, Chair. I agree. Thank you, Councilman. Um, well, much to come, and seeing no one else in the queue, we are, this committee is adjourned until 3.30 on Monday afternoon for our regular council budget and finance work. The weekend off. The weekend off. Thank you. This has been a service of the Metro Nashville Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs, visit Nashville.com.